Hi, in this tutorial we'll be creating a canoe using the loft surface tool within SolidWorks. Okay, and it's built up in the same way as you would do a solid loft, but just do this time instead using line profiles. Um, okay, so now we're ready to go. Uh, we'll minimize that. We'll go across to here, file new, and new part, okay. Right, first of all though, we need to make sure that we've got all of our uh, material ready. So we'll go into my boat and here what we need if we go down, oops. If we go into lofting, pictures. Okay, so I've got my pictures here that you need to download from online. So first of all, we've got side, whole middle section and whole front section and those are the parts that we need for this tutorial so put them into a file where you know they are now we can go back into my part and we can go and save off to start off with file save okay and we'll save it as uh, canoe 2 because I've already created the canoe remember you can't it's not good to save things it's the same name Okay, so we're going to right plane first, and I'll click sketch. Okay, now we want to bring our, um, first of all, we want to bring our profile in. So I'm going to go to pictures, and bring in my side profile picture. So I'll open that up. Okay, we've got that. We can move that about. Right, um, remember, we can scale ourselves up. So if we know in real life what the distance from there to there is, we can... We can just do that. So I'm just going to literally on here, we'll just call it 130 for now. I mean, it's, it's not size, but obviously it's just a rough kind of indication. So if we go down there, then we can just roughly put that one there and green tick that. And then we can also do the same for the other side there. Because that's this is going to be important. You'll see later uh, when we need to use planes. Okay, so we've got that now, um, and then I'll create a center line, also just at the middle, like so. Okay, so we got that. Now I can exit out of that sketch. Right now we need to uh, create our planes uh, for here and here. So we will go reference geometry plane. And we'll, I'll just click there, and I'll click there. And we've got our first plane, so we can green tick that. And I can reference geometry plane. I'll click at the end there, and click there. Oops. Reference geometry. Click there. there. Click on the line and the point, and then that will do. Create our two planes that we need. Great, because we've already got our... our front plane as well that we can reuse so now we need to uh, bring in our basically our sketches so in this plane here I want you to go sketch right click sketch sketch picture and we'll bring in a uh, whole section front okay and we'll open that up okay at the moment we need now need to bring this across like so and just bring it down to size like so okay so roughly we want that line to be equal with that and that bottom point to be equal with there so we brought that in now um, and now we can exit out that sketch and now just in our front plane we want to bring in the final one which is go up to sketch picture and we want to go to whole middle section open and there's our middle section that we need. Bring that down to size. Like so. So we've got our profiles that we're now going to uh, sketch. Okay, so we've got that. Right, now we're ready to start inputting our sketches. I'm always 
always put, if I'm bringing in pictures, I'll always put them on a separate sketch because we don't want them to interfere. We want to be able to turn them on and off. Okay, so first of all, on, our, on my right plane, I want to create a new sketch in the right plane. And we're just going to create a sketch of this front part here. So click one, two, three, four, five, like so. If I just hide that, you'll be able to see what I mean. So we want to just copy around there, show that. So I can actually, I can exit out of that now. And now I can just create a sketch in this plane here, sketch. And I can click normal to. So it brings it around like so. And then we'll go click here, 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 and down to this point there. And then we can exit out of that sketch. And then the final sketch will be on just our front plane sketch. Now we can go normal to actually normal to the other side so double click on it again we can click there 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 and there now I can escape out of that okay so what I do actually want to do which is a bit different to this we want to actually make this try and go straight up okay guys so like so so just like that now we can exit out now we can hide all of our sketches that we've done so right click hide right click hide right click hide okay so we can just see what we've got there now um, it's really important these points all line up okay so that's why now if we go into our view toolbars surfaces okay and we're going to use the loft tool because we can't use this one because it won't work if I just demonstrate but if we go across to lofted surface however and now we can select our lines click on a point there click the bottom point there click the point there now look that gives us a really nice surface finish and I can green tick that and there we go there's the first part to play but I'm going to delete that I'm going to right click delete because I want to create a whole half so that's why we've created this plane here okay so first off if I go back into my right plane and sketch and I'll go normal to okay what we can do we'll create a center line that goes up through the center and then I want to mirror um, entities so I'll click on this point line here and convert and now what I can do is mirror that point around this line here okay so I can green tick that and I could delete the one that I've converted and we'll delete this line oh, we don't need to delete that right so that's got that point there now ready for the loft and then just simply in plane 2 we can go sketch and we can select that line there and just go convert so that convert that straight in like so and exit out now we're just ready to do the loft. So if we go up to the loft tool, click loft, I'll click point, I'll click a point on there, click a point. Oops, I want to clear that. Click point, click point, click point. And then it finishes off up there, like so. And then we can green tick that. And there's a whole half to our boat. Now we're going to use what's called the thicken tool. If your thicken tool isn't up there, um, because it surfaces at the moment, if your thicken tool's not up there, we can go down into features, and within features, sorry, in commands, we go down to features. Across in commands is the thicken tool, so drag that and just drop that up there, okay? But I'm not going to do it because I've already got it. Um, basically, why am I thickening this? Because if we say we went to wanted to 3D print it or create an STL file from it, we couldn't because this doesn't actually have a thickness. So it wouldn't exist within real life. You wouldn't, you couldn't, you can't print nothing basically. So we need to give it a thickness. So if we go to thicken and then we click on our object like so, and we just want it to go inwards and we'll give it a dimension of three. And there we go. 
green tick that oops sorry outside so we're going to thicken it um, we'll add a dimension of two making sure that the offset uh, so if we try doing that it won't allow us to so the offset's got to go outwards so like so and we'll click OK now we're ready to just add the last part mirror so we'll go to mirror right features to mirror we'll clear selection we'll go bodies to mirror and we'll select the bodies um, because if I tried to use features it wouldn't work so we want to have that in the right plane okay so click there right plane now won't allow failing to merge so untick merge and we'll green tick that and there we go sorry that was just the merge solids feature it needs to be unticked okay so then that'll allow us to do that right so we can hide these so if we can right click on them hide now we've got our boat now we can just add an appearance to it to make it look a little bit nicer so if we go down to uh, organic wood and we we'll select a maybe a polished rosewood and add that effect or a polished teak like so uh, anyone that you wish and then file save as um, canoe to save yes and that concludes our how to create a boat within SolidWorks